equation. So we have a x in exponent log a divided by x in exponent log b equal with b over a. So first of all, let's take a log both sides. If we are taking log in both sides, we are going to have this form. So let me write this uh, x log a and divided by x in exponent log b is equal, so we are taking in both sides, log of a b over a. And according to the log's properties in division, we can write this one as a log uh, x time uh, in exponent log a is a minus a log x in exponent log b. And also on the other side, we can make, according to the properties of the logs, division of the logs, we can write a log b minus log a. And according to the exponents of the logs, we can write uh, this goes in the front here. Same thing in the, with the other log. We can write a uh, log a times a log x is a minus a log b time a log x, everything is equal with the log b minus log a. And now here, because in the both sides we have a log x, we can factor the log x in, on the left side. So we can write a log x is equal with the log a minus a log b. And in the other side, we have a log b minus a log a. So, and we are in this situation here. But now we can divide everything by log a minus log b. So everything here we divide by log a minus log b. When we divide everything, we come in this situation. So let's say here we divide by log a minus log b. And in the other side, we divide by log a minus log b. So these two we can cancel. And we have a log x is going to be equal with the log b minus log a over the log a minus log b. But as we see here, here we can factor one minus, the pre-sign minus, and in either side, up or down, and we want to make this as a as a like term. So let me factor here minus a log a minus log b. We can write in this form, and same thing is on the lower side, log a minus over uh, log b. But as we see here, uh, this is uh, the like term. We can uh, simplify. We can uh, simplify log a minus log b. And what remains here remains a log x is going to be equal to the minus 1. But according to the logs, so this is a common logarithm, and the base is a 10, so x can be equal to the 10 in exponent minus 1. Respectively, x is going to be 1 over 10. So this is the solution for this equation.